Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hello. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the camera, but this time we're going to talk about something, a specific feature that allows you to do depth of field. Typically in a computer programs, when you're rendering something, everything's in perfect, perfect focus. Mm -hmm. But when you're using a, like a camera in the real world, you focus the lens, and I'm doing something with my hands right now, pretending I'm holding a camera. Yeah, <laughs> you like you can see him. <laughs> you focus the lens on a specific object, and then objects that are further or objects that are closer get either blurrier based on the further away they are, they get uh, more out of focus. And mm -hmm. you can simulate that in Blender as well. So if we right click on the camera, you'll see we got this D of dist. That's the depth of field distance. And if you start messing with that, you won't see any difference in your rendering. But I'll show you how to use that here real quick. Let's uh, let's make a whole bunch of cubes here. I'm going to just say add an array. Ooh. And let's offset that along the, the Y. How about we'll set it uh, to along the Y. No, maybe uh, 1.5. You don't always have to do it the fancy way. <laughs> <laughs> and then looking through the camera, now we got our array of cubes. I'll just pull that in along the Y a little bit. Just so we have some stuff going into the distance. It'll make it a little more more interesting. Maybe we'll rotate along the local Z. There we go. Is that way? If we want now. So if we if we were to just render this now. The normal render, everything's in perfect focus, even though things get further away. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is right click on the camera and let's split this area, go to nodes, click on the little face icon there, click use nodes, and now what we can do is we're going to hit the space bar and add a filter and it's called defocus and we're going to put this right in between let me give myself a little more room so i'm uh, connecting the image up to the image and the z up to the z and then this image and it takes a second. Yeah. Uh, so what we're saying is passing this image and this Z information into this filter, and then whatever it does, pass it out as our image, mm -hmm. as our composited image. So defocus, we've got this bokeh type, which on a camera, your, uh, uh, your shutter, you can determine how many, uh, not shutter, the uh, iris blades, for the effect, but if you have a disc, it's just like a perfect circle. And then I'm going to turn off no Z buffer so that I can get this F stop. An F stop at 128 is perfect focus. So if we lower this, uh, things will get more out of focus based on our depth of field setting. Mm -hmm. So for example, I'm going to set this down to four. That's kind of low. <laughs> and then. Uh, I'm going to set our depth of field to, let's see, how far away is that cube? Let's, let's uh, click over here and turn on limits. And we can set our depth of field here if we get Z, so I can see through. That's what our depth of field distance is set to right now. I'll set it 11, so I can, I can move this up and down. That little X shows us where where it's beginning, which is handy. Now we're looking through the camera again, and I'm going to go over to render and hit render, and you'll see absolutely no difference. That's because since we're using the compositor, we need to click do composite. So then we click render again. This time it renders it, and then wait a second, and it does the compositing. You can see 
oh, it's really in focus over here, but it gets out of focus there. Let's focus. And the, the nice thing is, is let's say you don't know exactly how far something, how far away something is. Well, I can click on this cube object and say, well, I want it to focus on the cube. So let me click on the camera and say, the cube is where you should be focusing. And if we were to look back in this view, you could see, boom, it's focusing right on the, that cube again. So we'll go back to render, quick render, renders it, then it does the composite. Yeah, so before, um, you should wait a second when it's rendering because if you just see it and then you think that it's done, it's actually not because it'll get blurry over time. Over, over distance. This, well, yeah, but I mean, it, it'll first be clear and rendering, but then it'll update the blurriness over this. Oh, yeah, before. yeah, yeah. It takes a second before it, 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 is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. When you hit there, so depending on the speed of your computer. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we've got a couple other features on the uh, uh, filter here. Like max blur, you can determine the maximum amount of blurring to occur uh, for the objects that go off in the distance. So if, if they're getting too far away, getting too blurry, you can limit that amount of blurry blurriness. And then the uh, B threshold is something that the blur filter is not always perfect. When it things are very far away that it's blurring, it can bleed into the things that are closer. And uh, if that becomes a problem, you can mess with this value to, to you know, play with it to try and uh, minimize that sort of problem. Mm -hmm. And that's Depth of Field in Blender. Yeah. See you next time.